Hey guys, it's Tiwis here from Tiwis's Tech Tips, and today I'm going to do a review on the Weather Channel. So I've just got the Windows 10 app. Obviously, you can get it on other devices like um, iPods, iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. And it's my favourite weather app. I think it's the easiest to use, and it provides heaps of information. So. Yeah, so I'm going to show you about what features it has and how it all works. So here it tells you the forecast, current conditions, um, sunrise, sunset, humidity, pressure, visibility, wind, dew point, UV index, and what it feels like. It has like just the top weather video. It has next 48 hours and next 15 days. So. Um, you can click on each day and it tells you more detailed forecast. Here so it has day and night and it has sunrise, sunset, moon rise, moon set and the moon phase. Now it has historical weather and averages over here. And here in the health it has the tree pollen, grass pollen, weed pollen and flu activity. Now these things may not be available in your region because um, these three here have only been available for like a month or so in Australia and full activity has never been available so yeah and obviously you can manage locations here at homes and work locations and you can obviously find other places like London for instance because that comes up with all the weather for London and you can just I'll just delete London because I don't need it. Now over here, or a forecast, we can go to maps. And this is all the rain and snow and all that. Um, you've got these settings so you can change the map surface and what to show and the layers and things. And um, we have a, a little sort of video, radar video of um, the rain and everything. Now we can go down to news. This is just boring stuff I find. Just world weather news, floods and fires and all that. And this is just videos for all, for all the news things too. So, um, and just some raining videos. Like, that's not, Angry Chimp Smashes drone has got nothing to do with weather, I'm pretty sure. If you've got your settings down here, you can just create an account. I haven't, though. Can't be stuffed. Um, rain alerts, severe weather alerts, lightning alerts, and breaking news alerts. Um, yeah, the pollen is available for US locations only. Um, since I'm Australian, my I'm a metric unit of measure, so distance is kilometres, temperature is Celsius, but if you're American, you can go English, which is miles and Fahrenheit. Uh, it's just about the app. And Cortana, you can enable Cortana commands. Sometimes it doesn't work though, so because it just switches automatically to Windows weather. So yeah, that's my review pretty much. And um I use it's my favourite weather app. I'll give it about a four star rating. It's about on the Windows store, it's about sixty one megabytes, I think, or something. So it's not it's not too big, but it's not tiny either, so but it's worth it, it works really well. So yeah, thanks for watching my review on the Weather Channel. Please like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.